the fifth round of the Shamgir chess tournament in the memory of Fugar Gashimov saw a change at the top of the leaderboard. Wesley So couldn't keep his pole position as he lost to ex-world champion Vichy Anand. It was the first time ever that these players played against each other and maybe this caused some extra pressure on the young US Grandmaster. Besides, he was unlucky enough to face an Anand playing his best chess so far in Shamkir. With excellent preparation and powerful play at the board, the Indian Grandmaster won a fine game. Well, Vichy played really well today, completely outplayed me. And uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter who I'm playing, but uh, I mean, he made a lot of accurate moves today. So it doesn't really matter who my opponent, but I got an unpleasant position. I mean, <laughs> and uh, it's my first game against Vichy and, you know, it's a big honor for me to play. Him. Unfortunately, I was hoping for a better result, but yeah. Actually, today uh, was a very nice win against the tournament leader who's, who was just, just dominating, so that's, that's quite nice. The new leader is Magnus Carlsen. The world champion was in great shape as well and won his third and his best game so far. Carlsen and his opponent Maxim Vachelegraaf left opening theory more or less on move 4, which resulted in a very original opening. Carlsen then came up with a wonderful positional pawn sacrifice and gave his opponent no chance in the rest of the game. Yeah, certainly the game was uh, quite um, uh, interesting from early on. I don't think there is any theory on this. Uh, yeah, from night I think. We were uh, both uh, quite happy with um, fresh position. With the fresh position, yeah. Uh, so when when you play b5, you invite moves like knight a3 <laughs> <laughs> to happen and. Uh, um, that will u lead to, you know, unusual positions, and uh, it was um, it was fun, uh, very much fun to play. The players also had a lot of fun analyzing on the computer. Yeah, I mean, a one will be hanging. But yeah, we take some time because I just saw such yeah, a fresh position. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry uh, to waste your time. It's <laughs> just uh, <laughs> it's really interesting. Vasile Graf was full of praise for his opponents. Well, at first maybe I was confused, but it was clear that uh, Magnus played extremely well today. I think okay, this idea with um, bishop g5 and bishop h6, first of all, I mean, it's not terribly difficult to see, maybe, but still, I mean... Uh, to find. Uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really come, obviously, to the mind, I would say. And right. so, I mean, and some of the moves also were impressive with bishop g4 and bishop h5. I mean... Uh, same with Magnus, it always looks very simple once it's played, but it's not easy to notice. <laughs> to play interesting chess and also to win, you can't have it better than that on Monday, so I'm very happy with uh, the game. Vladimir Kramnik certainly wasn't happy. He lost his first game in Shamkir and also lost his first game ever against Shakhir Mamediarov. The other two games, Mamedov versus Adams and Caruana versus Giri, ended in draws. Four more rounds will be played in Shamkir, where Magnus Carlsen is now half a point ahead of Wesley So in the standings.